What's going on, guys? Freshly done. Oh. All right. Just regular trash today. Good grief, what a mess. Next dumpster of the day. Hey, broke. Broken fish tank. What's in here? What is that? Some metal pieces to what? Hmm. Interesting. That fish tank has definitely seen better days. I was thinking about taking it though because I need a pane of glass for a project I've got in my head. So I'm gonna see if I can take this piece of glass out. There we go. And I'm gonna take the rest of this, minus the trash. Because as you know, our kids love they're amphibians and reptiles. I have an idea in mind for Kane's frog enclosure, but I need a pane of glass. And Stacy's looking at me like, why did you grab that? All right. Anything cool in you? Don't look like it. Whoa. Stacy, come here. There's a bunch of stuff in here. I don't know what all it is. Um, you know, what is that? Uh, mini puff pastries. Huh. I don't know if it's. I think so, but I can't tell. So what about these? Grab them. Okay. Uh, can you hold that? Okay. Got on my shoesies. Yes or no? Yeah. Yep, grab it. People in their illegal dumpage. That, my friends, is an empty dumpster. What's up? Why are you recording? Is that a freaking parking lot rage? In case you ran into somebody for insurance purposes. Ah! Parking lot rage is a mofo. Alright, let's look. Some cookies already opened. Yummy yuck. Alright. Slim Jims popping out of this. I love Slim Jims. Looks like I'm SOL on that one. Alright, nothing. Mmm. Something smells good in the dumpster. Kind of a weird thing to say, but we got here. Part of a Christmas tree, it looks like. There was the source of the good smell. Ah. Uh, I got all over you. I'm afraid it's going to be all over this stuff too. Because yeah. it is leaking, as you can see. So I'm just going to leave that behind. Anything over there? All right, so doing the dumpster diving thing, we found a couple of things, but really and truthfully, not a whole lot. So what are we doing now? Um, we're just cruising, seeing when it's gonna be somebody else's trash day. We're curb surfing. You know, we got uh, we got some weeks left until Christmas, so just kind of driving around, hoping that you know people have purged their house and uh, maybe set some nice stuff out on the curb to make room. You know, if there's one thing we all have in common, it's that we could all use a little bit more room in the house, right? Oh, absolutely. So, 
Just kind of cruising around hoping we can find somebody that tossed something to the curb. But uh, it's not looking very promising right now. We'll get it done. Yeah. Alright, back to this one to see if they threw anything else out. And they did. Oh my god. They didn't sound empty, so oh my goodness. Oh, grief. I want the keys. Can you get it or do you want me to come get it? I'll come get it. Let me help you. Okay. Here. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this real right now? There is so much in here. I'm like literally in shock of the amount. Oh my goodness, those are green beans down there. I wonder if I can grab those as soon as he comes back. I was gonna grab this box of stuff in it here. Oh dear. Do you want the book? Um, possibly so, yes, please. Oh my. Do you not have a magnet? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm about to get a crate and just climb in. Are you really? Yeah. You better do it quickly. Oh my god, I'm gonna get my butt. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Is this just fun? There's a good box right here. We literally. Oh my gosh. And mind you, we were here just a few hours ago and there was nothing in this dumpster. It was absolutely empty. Ew, no. That is green. Ew. I know, I know we've uh, really been wanting to come across some like peppers for canning purposes. Wow. I wish they would have just thrown everything out like where it would stay in the box and kind of dumped bad. everything. Bananas. Okay, I am going. I don't want this stuff here. Wait, oh, I want this stuff here. Okay. Come on, I'll take it. I got enough bananas, so I'll just uh, set those. Banana and spinach smoothies or what? <laughs> I'm going to set this up here. Somebody else wants to come along and grab it. They can. Okay. So, I believe that's it. I'm seeing, honestly, those are busted up. Okay, so that's it. Did you move those bags back there? I mean, I can see that it's just this oh, crate. Oh, okay. well, come on. Come out. Somebody else can that box. I finally got some goo in my hair. Good thing it's washable. Did you get some goo in your hair? I did. It was on the <laughs> side of that box, actually. I know how many people are cringing right now. Probably a bunch. <laughs> people always say, it's put your like, hair up. It's so pretty. It's getting yeah, dirty. Yeah, it's down here somewhere. But uh, It was stuck to the box. I was like, oh, lovely. Oh, no. oh, well, it can be washed. Surprisingly, though, that doesn't happen very often. No, it really doesn't. <laughs> like I said, it's washable. It happened this time. Right? <laughs> There's probably a lot that were like, stay safe, put your hair. Probably all already in the comments. For me, I don't really care because, again, hair is washable. This is literally my favorite place ever now since I got that toolbox the other day. And I am gloveless. 
actually forgot. But it doesn't look like anything. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreaming. <laughs> She don't even know where to go. Thank you very much for showing us. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so when we go into tractor supply, there's these toys that Mama likes to play with. And they're actually really good quality toys. What are those? Um, it says Nossum Spiky Squeaker Cube. And they're really durable. Like for three bucks, they're not bad, right? No, not at all. But for one dollar, they're even better. Which is what these were on sale for today. So now they all get one. Yeah. <laughs> it's underneath. Come on. What you got? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Good job, Ben. Ow. That was fun. Are you recording this? I don't know, but this is funny. Forget it. I'm going to make it that is the funniest thing ever. You over there. Oh, hold on. <laughs> you over there. Say hi. That's a good idea. Okay. Well, ten minutes later, you can't see outside, and the dogs are worn out. Wow, that camera is pretty dark. Huh? Yeah, it is. All right, so you guys know that uh, we canceled out the storage fee because they just went up like twenty dollars a month. Uh, so this is the rest of the stuff that we have left over from the garage sale, and uh, what will now be stuff for flea markets. We got it here on the trailer, under the tarp, under this little awning thing that I built off the back of the shed. So. Till we can get out to the flea market and by the way for those of you who are wondering uh, our total for the garage sale was i believe 250 dollars which honestly for the stuff we had and the amount of stuff we had isn't great uh but for i think for our location it was pretty decent a lot of work ton of work but uh i mean at least it wasn't for nothing so 250 i think it was just under 250 dollars total now I'm just gonna have to excuse my breathing hard, okay? I just wanted to show you guys, again, the toolbox I picked up the other day in case you missed it. And then for those of you who did see me pick it up, I wanted to show you what it was replacing. This is my old toolbox here. Um, maybe that was a good brand at one time, but that thing's really old, really old. And it, uh, it hasn't had a very gentle life, I'll just say. So this one, it's gonna go up there. And, uh, excuse any of the clutter you know a lot of the time i try to show hide this stuff so you guys don't see it but we'll just show it and get it out of the way me and aaron have been working our butts off in here over the past couple of weeks weeks uh organizing and uh and stuff in here so we'll just show it it is a mess it is a mess but we're just going to show it and get that out of the way this is aaron's little work uh workbench over here that we built for him you guys will remember that him and i did this project together and it was kind of funny because we didn't we didn't decide on building him a workbench until we found this vice so we basically built 
this workbench because we found this vise. So, hey, still super cool, still super stoked to have found that. It is kind of, it's kind of dented. And if you look at it, I don't know if it's going to show on camera, but it does kind of sit a little crooked. Um, all right. So let's take a look at what we got. First of all, we're going to look at this broken fish tank. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, what the heck did you get that for? Uh, there is a reason behind it. Kane likes frogs, and I want to uh, get him a setup to where on one side of his fish tank he can have land and gravel and dirt and that kind of stuff, and the other side have water for his frogs. Maybe maybe a little lily pad or something like that. Um, and in order to do that, I need I need a divider. So my plan is to uh, I don't have one yet, but I'm going to get one of those little things that you cut glass with. And um, I just need a strip of glass about that big that goes across the length of his 20 gallon tank. And uh, that'll be like a, like I said, a little divider for a little swamp area and then a little forest area. So that'll be really cool. Uh, now I don't know when I'll be able to get around to doing that, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, cut the silicone and stash away what I need. That way I can throw the rest away. I wanted to show this off real quick. This is a, uh... Is it pronounced Ogio, Stacy? Yeah. Is it pronounced Ogio? I think so. Yeah, no. oh, we got this piece of luggage here, Ogio. Right. Uh, we paid ten dollars for it. There's sold comps on these for like two hundred fifty bucks. You guys, still brand new with the tags. Pretty nice. We also got this really cool frameless uh, aquarium, and I meant to show it to you before uh, we started on it. But just to get get you guys you caught up here, we have uh, we have petrified wood on the inside right here and then on over here we have gravel at the bottom with a layer of sticks <laughs> and then we're going to put some soil on top there mm -hmm, we got we'll the show soil. you as it progresses all right we have in the back there our soil and we're putting in the substrate down here for the little pond area don't know how well this is going to work out but we're going to try it and see all right we've got the tank mostly finished we're going to add some plants and stuff like that to it but it's pretty cool he's got his little pond down here and for, whenever he's ready to come out he can just crawl up here and if he ever turns into a frog that is and then it's gonna be pretty cool once this thing has some plants in it and some moss and actual frog it's gonna be pretty darn cool we're gonna use the cover up this what you doing i'm eating the dumpster grapes i went through and i picked out the good ones and now i'm eating them are they good mm -hmm. So, I don't know what we're going to do with to the top whenever you I have a frogs. few ideas. It's not a big deal. Yeah. We'll figure that Me part too. out. Me too. I have an idea. But the tank will hold a lot of humidity just because of its design, which will be pretty good for a frog tank. The tank, almost three weeks later. All right, I'm filming with my phone because the GoPro died, but check this out, you guys. This is about, oh shoot, probably about two or three weeks later give or take a few days I guess but uh, this is the tank after it's had a chance to sit and we've put uh, we've put some animals in there we got some frogs hopping around in there we got some live moss there a couple of plants over there and uh, we'll zoom in on that little guy back there he's kind of in a weird spot but that is our little tree frog pretty cool here we have our forever tadpole this guy is one that we ordered for Kane like, I don't know, six months ago. And he's still a tadpole. I don't know if he'll ever change or not. So really, we don't know if he'll be a forever tadpole. Might be. But yeah, so pond down here. It's really, really cool some place algae. for the tadpole. Get some algae. We got some algae growing, Kane says, which is good for the frogs and the tadpoles, actually. And, There's a uh, frog on the moss, a baby on the moss. Where? Oh, I didn't even see him. He's so tiny. You know. Yeah, Whoa. there he is. Isn't that cool? We also built a lid for the top. It's uh, kind of crude, but it works perfectly. Got some air holes up there. We didn't want to do too many because we wanted to hold in quite a bit of moisture. I know a lot of you guys are going to really like... Uh, like this little setup and I want to tell you that uh, if you want to see more videos of the animals that we do have like this the frogs the lizards all of the above to uh, go over to TikTok and give us a follow all right
right, so we are back, as you saw, with the dogs playing with all their squeakers. Um, anyways, we went ahead and pulled everything and brought it inside. So I will show you everything that we got. Um, a whole lot of fruits and vegetables. So here we have a bunch of containers of grapes. Over here we have some baby spinach. Another box of bananas. I say another because we've been pulling a lot of bananas here lately. Um, here's another box of spinach. We got some chopped kale. A couple of bags of that. Some celery. Grab some green beans. Some packages of mushrooms. Let's see. I think there's some more. Yeah. Here. Some more mushrooms in here. And there is a package of blackberries here. And then over here in this box, we've got two boxes of some mini puff pastries. A couple of bags of oranges. Some smushed grapes. Some smushed bananas. A rotted acorn squash. A good looking bell pepper. And a container of tomatoes. So, that is what we have here on our little dive. And I believe that does it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. So, we will be back with another video as soon as we can.